The effects of the bombing of the Boston Marathon being felt all around the world and here in Louisiana as well. Over 50 participants from our state and five from right here in southwest Louisiana. Luckily, they were all safe and one of them is here with me now. Jeff Landry, thank you so much for being here with us today. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad you're safe and home and I know your family is too. Absolutely. So let's talk about the experience. You're a runner. You've participated in marathons before. At, at what point in this day did you know something had gone wrong? Uh, I had finished the race and uh, my family and I had gone uh, maybe a block and a half, two blocks down from the finish line uh, to get something to eat. And, and I was sitting where I could still see people coming in and getting their medals and getting their blankets put over them. Um, and then I noticed there was nobody moving and it, and it didn't really click at that point. And we walked outside and I didn't see any runners. Uh, you could hear sirens going on and it still at that point didn't click, but I'd, I'd run enough races to know that races just don't stop like that and, and runners don't just stop coming across the finish line, especially that at, at that point in the race. Um, we were kind of being directed off of Boylston Street, uh, which we were parked over there at Boston Common anyway, so we are going to head that way uh, to get in the vehicle. And uh, around that time, our phone started going off and text messages, um, are you okay? We've heard there's bombs, explosions. Now your wife is there with you. My wife is there with me. And she's away from you. She's actually, she's taken a lot of these pictures, the ones that we're looking at right now. Right. How soon did you reconnect with her to let her know that you were okay? We were actually all together eating lunch. Uh, I'd finished uh, going down, got my bag, met up with them at the family meeting area, and we were all together eating uh, at this point. So uh, when we left, this had just taken place probably 30 minutes after I'd finished. Wow. Uh, so when you look back at the pictures before and you see where the bomb went off and you see how closely uh, your wife was standing to take these pictures and that you had just run by this area, how did you feel? Um, nauseated. Uh, I, was, I was sick. Um, just the proximity of, of my family, uh, all the runners, their families, the people that had lost their lives, just, it was really uh, it's just devastating to see something like that um, and then then I got angry I got so let's angry. talk about the scene in Boston I imagine it turns into mayhem or maybe organized chaos what was it like trying to get out and, and get away from from the area where we were uh, yeah I, I got to hand it to Boston I mean it was um, uh, it, it was I guess you could say organized chaos considering what was going on in the proximity um, at that time, we didn't realize the magnitude of what was going on uh, until we were headed out of the city. Um, they lifted all the arms in the parking garage and just, you know, waved everything. They were just trying to get everybody out. Uh, we turned on the radio, and um, on the way back to the hotel, we were probably 15 miles out from Boston where we were staying. And um, when we got back and started watching the news and looking at all the proximities uh, where everything took place, and started looking at pictures and scrolling through everything, and, and it was. Uh, right around that time where I was looking at the pictures where they were videoing and uh, where the second explosion went off, uh, kind of started putting some stuff together. Uh, and yesterday morning uh, when I was watching Fox News and they were showing, you know, the exact location of, of where the second bomb was and I really started digging into some of the pictures and it just, again, it just really hit home that you know, that you were right there. Well, and, and it was the day before we were taking pictures, and I even suggested, you know, y'all are going to get here and drop me off early enough. We took pictures by the flags, by the finish line. I said, y'all stand right here, and y'all be right here, get something to eat, and just, you know, wait at the finish line. You'll be able to see all the elites. You'll be able to see me come through. Uh, they opted not to do that, and they were actually on one side of the street where the second explosion went off, and because the sun was coming up in their eyes, they chose to cross the street. Wow. So all these things kind of piecing together. Like divine intervention. And, and I got a t friends and family, I mean, just people that we hadn't talked to in, in a long time, just the, the, the concern, the, the thoughts, the prayers, the, you know, from, you know, where we work at the hospital, uh, you know, it was just amazing, you know, the overwhelming concern and, and, and thoughts from everybody, just really, I, I can you know, only can, imagine. I can thank everybody for, and we're so going to go over a little bit, but I have to ask you, sure. um, knowing all that you know now, will you run the Boston Marathon again? If I were to ever qualify again, I would absolutely go back to Boston. So it hasn't scared you away, which is exactly what they tried to do. That's not going to happen. You can't do that to a runner. Amazing. Well, it was so nice to meet you, and I'm glad you're home safely. Thank you very much.